pleasant day. So for the topic, Retraction of Resolve, we are the affirmative side and we believe that Dr. Jose Rizal abjured masonry and retracted his statements against Catholic Church. At ang dokumentong iperinisinta sa publiko ay isang malakas na ebidensya na nagpapatunay na totoong binawi ni Dr. Jose Rizal ang kanyang pahayag. First, let us address the documents. Ang sulat ni Rizal sa kanyang ina na nakarating noong January 5, 1893. Sa sulat ay nakasaad na nagsisimba si Rizal kada linggo sa simbahan ng Dapitan. Hindi ba't nagpapatunay ito na bumalik nga siya sa simbahan? Also, to save his family and town from further persecution, Rizal may have been told that he faced the dilemma of signing the retraction or of having his relatives pursued by further persecutions. Since he hoped his death would stop the persecution of his relatives, the retraction may have seemed to him to be the only way of achieving that purpose. Dr. Eugene A. Hessel, in his lecture given in Suleiman University, summarizes the major points of the arguments of the retraction of Dr. Serizal. So first, he highlighted that the retraction of Dr. Serizal, um, discovered in 1935, is considered as the chief witness to the claim that Rizal did the retraction. The second one is the testimony of the press at the time of the event of the witnesses and other close witness those associated with the events such as the head of the Jesuit order and the archbishop and the acts of faith hope and charity reportedly recited and signed by Dr. Jose Rizal as attested by witnesses and as signed by your book which was among the documents discovered by Father Garcia along with the attraction then if true Rizal would not only accept Roman Catholic teachings, but would agree to a number of beliefs which he had previously disclaimed. So another person is Father Balaguer. According to his testimony, following the signing of the retraction, a prayer book was offered to Dr. Jose Rizal. He took the prayer book, he read those acts, accepted them, and took the pen and said, Credo, which means I believe. He signed the acts with his name in the book itself. Acts of piety performed by Rizal during his last hours as testified by witness. His Roman Catholic marriage to his wife, Josephine Bracken, as attested also by witnesses, because there will be no marriage without a retraction. And also, another reason why um, Rizal did the retraction is to help the church Um, to cut away the disease that harmed her, and not to further injure the Roman Catholic Church, and also to give his wife a legal status, Josephine Bracken. Si Padre Balaguer nakasama ni Dr. Jose Rizal na siya rin nagpresenta ng retraction format na ginawa ni Padre Pio Pai, ang superior ng Jesuit Society sa Pilipinas bago ang execution. Noong December 29, 1896, isang araw bago ang execution, sinabi niya na tinanggap ni Rizal at penermahan ang dokumento. Noong ikalabing tatlo ng Mayo, taong 1935, natagpuan ni Padre Manuel Garcia ang dokumentong nagsasabi na binawi nga ni Rizal ang kanyang pahayag. So isn't the account of the eyewitness not enough proof of the retraction? Dr. Rizal did retract his words, writings, and publications to his fading glory. Dr. Rizal said to Father Balaguer, I quote, I declare myself a Catholic, and in this religion, I wish to live and die. Also, according to Father Balaguer, I quote, Dr. Rizal told me, please add, and he was already writing after the word religion, in which I was born and educated, as if he wished to make his Catholic education known. According to Captain Rafael Dominguez Y. Garcia, Colonel of the Manila Garrison and Judge Advocate in Rizal's trial, he said that on the 29th of December 1896, at 7 o'clock in the morning, Rizal, in the presence of the Jesuit fathers, he asked to get married and he promised 
to make his confession. Also, according to Father Balaguer, after some observations, B. he himself proposed to write and sign as he did this formula. I abominate masonry as the enemy of the church and reprobates by St. Church. He decided to write down his own confession because, believe me, Father, I am doing this heartily, otherwise I would not do it. He sits down to write. The fathers accompany him. At about o'clock, he makes his confession. Father Villa Clara, once finished, accompanied by the fathers, the officer of the picket, two other officers, and myself. He kneels down before the altar, and all those that are present kneel too. He reads in a clear and serene voice the following declaration, which was signed by him. Thus, declaration or retraction was signed together with Dr. Rizal by Signor Fresno, Chief of the Packet, and Signor Mori, adjutant of the plaza. Father Balaguer said, Some may think that I could not remember it with so many details. After 20 years, I testify that in the very day of Rizal's death, I wrote a very deta detailed account of everything. The original of this account I have preserved, and from it I have taken all the data of the present narration. I declare and affirm that a little before Rizal came out from the chapel, I felt in the company of Josephine Bracken and a sister of Rizal, from whom, after a while, I departed. <coughs> I was bringing with me Rizal's own re handwritten retraction signed by him and by the witnesses. Before results reach the Bagumbayan, I went to the Ateneo and delivered the aforementioned document to Father Piyu Pai, who that very day brought it to his secretary, Reverend Thomas Gonzalez Feijo, who kept it in the secretary's office in the chest preserve. Documents. This last fact I know through the testimony of His Grace, the Most Reverend Bernardino Nuzaleda, and of his secretary, and the other things that I have declared, I know as an eyewitness and because I personally took part in the said events. Against this array of eyewitnesses, the documents and documents, the anti-retractionists have nothing to offer, but how could Rizal retract his words, writings, and publications to his fading glory, they ask. According to Dr. Rossi, I del Rosario, a handwriting expert, I, I must admit with candor and to the unsuspecting, the unwary, and the ignorant, this query is very convincing. But to those who have read the retraction document and who understand it, the question is absurd. To answer the question, where is the phrase that means Rizal retracted his words, writings, and publications to his fading glory? Dr. Del Rosario also said, I read this retraction several times, but I am sure of that Rizal retracted in this document was his affiliation with Masonry, and his reason was that Masonry is the enemy of the Church. Inasmuch as he was returning to his Catholic, at the same time he knew that the church forbade it <clears throat> and still forbids it. Why should the anti-retractionist begrudge result of his return to his church? Many other great Filipinos like Cazon and the Luna brothers retracted their Masonic affiliation and nothing is said against them. Why single out Rizal? It is not true that Rizal fought against the Catholic Church. What he had fought was against the Catholicism as a practice in the Philippines, not the Catholic Church. Also, Dr. Rizal said, I wish to throw the missile against the friars, but as they made use of the rituals and superstitions of our religion as a shield, I have to get rid of that shield in order to want the enemy that was hiding behind it. If the Trojans if the Trojans had placed the Athenian goddess palace to their fortress and thence with their arrows had fought the Greeks, 
I believe the Greeks would have also attacked the goddesses. God should not be utilized as a shield and protector of abuses, nor should religion be made for all for that purpose. What happens in the Philippines is horrible. The abuse, the name of the religion to enrich their hacendas, to seduce an innocent girl, to destroy an enemy, to disturb the peace of a married couple and rob a wife of her honor. Why should I not fought like religion? Why should I not fought religion like that when it is the basic cause of our mysteries and tears? The responsibility falls on those who abuse its name. Christ did the same thing with the religion of use it. When Dr. Rizal was a boarding student at, at, at the Ateneo, a very devout and exemplary indeed, he carved with a pink knife a little statue of the sacred heart of Jesus. About 15 centimeters in size, not so beautiful but rather well molded, modeled. When Dr. Rizal called for the fathers to assist him, Dr. Rizal asked, whether the statuette made by him was still preserved in the Ateneo. Father Visa, taking out of his pocket, told him, Yes, sir. Here you have, it is the heart of Jesus, who has been waiting for you for twenty years, and he comes now to greet you. Dr. Rizal took it, kissed it, and placed it on the disc, and there it remained until the hour he left for the place of execution. This happening indeed providential in such circumstances. Kay Gaspar Castrano, he claimed na nahawakan at nabasa niya ang dokumento na naglalaman ng retraction ni Rizal. Ayon pa sa kanya, nakita niya ito sa Archbishop Palace in Manila. Nabasa niya rito, ay dineklara ni Rizal ang kanyang sarili bilang isang katoliko at ang lahat na sinabi, nasulat at nagawa niya against sa katoliko, church was restricted. Ayon din kay Father Rizal, sa araw ng execution ni Rizal, ay nakita niya ang retraction ni Rizal sa Ateneo, na naka-authorized at formal na idiniklara noong April 27, 1917. At ayon kay Silvino Lopez Tuno, ang retraction ni Rizal was handed to him and nabasa niya ang lahat na nakasaad dito, na agad din niyang isinauli sa Archbishop. At ayon pa kay Dr. Jose del Rosario, na isang handwriting expert for almost 30 to 40 years na sa serbisyo, ay nagsasabing walang isang, wala siyang nakita na kahit konting pagdududa sa is, kahit isa na nakasulat sa Retraction Rizal at para sa kanya, Ang buong dokumento ay original na sinulat ni Dr. Jose Rizal. Isa din sa mga dahilan ni Rizal kung bakit siya nag-retract ay para mapakasalan niya ang kanyang minamahal na si Josephine Bracken. Paano pa nila masasabi na ang retraction ni Rizal ay fake? Hindi pa ba sapat ang mga testimonya ng mga eyewitness at ng isang dakilang handwriting expert? Kung pwede lang sana balikan natin ang panahon ni Rizal nang malaman natin kung ano talaga ang totoong nangyari. Pero hindi eh, mas mabuting tanggapin na lang natin ang katotohanan na talagang nag-retract si Rizal. Patungkol sa dokumento ng kasal at sa pagtalakay na hindi nabanggit si Josephine Rizal sa kanyang mga sulat, ipinaliwanag ni Garcia sa kanyang libro na The Great Debate, na nakita o na-discovery niya ang retraction letter kasama na ang marriage certificate na Josephine at Rizal. Nakasaad din dito kung bakit hindi nabanggit ni Rizal si Josephine as his wife. Karagdagan, hindi posible rin na hindi na ilibing si Rizal sa Roman Catholic Cemetery dahil naakusahan siya bilang isang traitors against the Spaniards' governments kahit na alam natin mga Pilipino na hindi. At tama lang na isipin na ayaw ng mga Espanyol na magkaroon ng maayos na libing ang kanilang kaaway and, Re and Rizal was no exception on that. In conclusion, Rizal truly abjured masonry and retracted his affli affiliations against the Catholic Church for the reason that masonry is the enemy and prohibited by the Church. At si Rizal 
ay nagumpisa na bumalik sa simbahan. Sa kasong ito, hindi kinalaban ni Rizal ang relihiyong katoliko bagkos pinaglaban niya ito sa mga umaabuso. Controversy, many historians are arguing whether Rizal retracted from what he had stated about the Catholic Church or not. From Rizal's statement, I retract with all my heart whatever in my words, writings, publications, and conduct have been contrary to my character as a son of the Catholic Church. Some say that this document is a forgery and the other are asserting that it's authentic and Rizal was the only who wrote and signed the retraction paper. According to Chudoro Kalaw, a professional on our hero's writing, and other handwriting experts. The retraction was originally written by Rizal in, and it has been judged by them through their deep studies. These are also prominent Philippine historians who uphold the authenticity of Rizal's retra retraction such as Nick Joaquin, Nicolas Zafra, Gregorio Zaide, and many more. As of them, they consider the witnesses when Rizal wrote the retraction paper, signed the Book of Prayers of the Catholic Church, and recited the prayers of the Catholic, based on them, there were also people who saw him when he kissed the crucifix before the execution. All of these reasons are proved and evidenced by documents presented and found by people as well as the statements testified by eyewitnesses.